Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to upgrade a switch. You can upgrade a switch using the command line interface or boot ROM menu. If the network management function is configured, you can also upgrade a switch using the network management system. I will show you how to upgrade a switch using the command line interface and boot ROM menu in this course. Here is an example. The latest software version of the S5720H1 switch is V200R007C00, and the corresponding system software is V200R007C00.cc. We can use the command line interface or boot ROM menu to upgrade an S5720H1 switch running V200R006 to the latest version. Before performing the upgrade, read the upgrade guide to find version requirements, impacts, as well as warnings and notices related to the upgrade. The upgrade procedure mainly includes preparing for the upgrade, performing the upgrade, and verifying the upgrade. If the upgrade verification fails, you need to roll back the system software. Upgrade using the command line interface and upgrade using the boot ROM menu have the same upgrade preparation and verification, but have different upgrade operations. What should we prepare before performing an upgrade? 1. View the switch's running status to check whether the switch runs properly. 2. Set up the upgrade environment, mainly the networking, for system file and configuration file transfer. For details about how to transfer files, see the Remotely Transferring Files Using FTP course. 3. The system software is a system software package or patch file. You can log in to Huawei's technical support website to search for and download the system software, or contact Huawei technical support personnel to obtain the system software. 4. Verify the software integrity using tools such as OpenPGP or MD5 Checker. You can download the tools on Huawei's technical support website and verify the software integrity according to the tool usage guide. 5. Backup important data in the storage medium. Run the display startup command to check important files on the switch, including the configuration file, web system file, and patch file. Back up these files to the local PC. 6. Check the available space in the storage medium. To upload the latest system software to the switch, ensure that the switch has sufficient storage space to store the software. You can run the dir command to check the available storage space on the switch. If the storage space is insufficient, Delete unnecessary files. Exercise caution when deciding to delete a file. Now, let's see the configuration procedure, including transferring the latest system software package and patch file to the switch, specifying the system software and patch file for next startup, and restarting the switch. First, let's see how to upgrade a switch using the command line interface. Assume that the system software package and patch file have been transferred to the switch and have been checked against the installation checklist. Specify the system software to be loaded for next startup. Specify the patch file to be loaded for next startup. Note that if the switch is a modular switch that has two domain control cards, you need to specify the system software and patch file used by the standby main control card for next startup. Check the system software, configuration files, and patch files for current startup and next startup. Run the reboot command to restart the switch and complete the upgrade. Next, let's see how to upgrade a switch using the boot ROM menu. Before upgrading a switch using the boot ROM menu, you must connect the switch and PC using a serial cable and network cable. Ensure that the switch's management IP address and the PC's IP address are on the same network segment. 
and ensure that the switch and PC have reachable routes to each other. In the boot ROM menu, use the Serial Interface submenu or Ethernet submenu to upload the system file. Because it is slow to transfer files through the Serial Interface, I will use the Ethernet submenu as an example to back up the configuration file and upload the system file to the switch. Specify the system software, configuration file, and patch file for next startup in the startup configuration submenu. Restart the switch in the main menu. After completing upgrade operations in the command line interface or boot ROM menu and restarting the switch, we need to check whether the upgrade succeeds on the switch. We need to check the current system software version, check whether the patch is successfully installed, check the switch's running status, and check whether the system configuration is lost. If services are abnormal after the upgrade is complete, you can roll back the system software. The system software rollback procedure is similar to the switch upgrade procedure and includes loading the rollback package, performing the rollback, and verifying the rollback. The rollback procedure is not mentioned in this course. I will demonstrate how to perform the upgrade on a switch. First, let's see how to upgrade a switch using the command line interface. Assume that the system software and patch file have been transferred to the switch using FTP and the switch's current configuration has been backed up to the local PC. Specify the system software to be loaded for next startup. Specify the patch file to be loaded for next startup. And check the switch startup configuration. The value in the configured startup system software field indicates that the current system software is V200R006. The value in the startup system software field indicates that the current startup system software is V200R006. The value in the next startup system software field indicates that the system software for next startup is V200R007C00. The startup patch package field displays null, indicating that no patch file is used on the switch. The value in the next startup patch package field indicates that the patch file for the next startup is V200R007SPH002. The upgrade configuration is complete. Run the reboot command to restart the switch and complete the upgrade. After the switch restarts, we need to check whether the upgrade is successful. Check the current system software version and patch number. Check the switch's running status. The command output shows that the switch is in normal state, indicating that the switch runs properly. Check whether the configuration is lost. You can use the configuration comparison tool to compare the saved configuration file with the current configuration file. I will not demonstrate this operation. Next, let's see how to upgrade a switch using the boot ROM menu. Run the reboot command in the command line interface to restart the switch. When the system displays, press Ctrl and B or Ctrl and E to enter boot ROM menu. Press Ctrl B or Ctrl E and enter the boot ROM menu password to display the boot ROM main menu. Select 4 to display the Ethernet submenu. Select 4 to modify Ethernet submenu parameters. In this example, we use FTP to transfer files. Therefore, select 2 to modify FTP parameters. Enter the name of the file v200r007c00.cc to be uploaded. 
the switch's management IP address, and the PC's IP address. Note that the switch's management IP address and the PC's IP address must be on the same network segment. Enter the FTP username and login password. The FTP username and password are reconfigured using the login software. Take IPOP as an example. Click Server to configure the FTP default working directory, username, and password. Select 3 to return to the Ethernet submenu. Select 2 to upload the system software to the switch. The method of uploading the patch file is the same as that of uploading the system software and is not mentioned here. Select 3 to back up the configuration file to the local PC. Return to the boot ROM main menu. Select 3 to display the startup configuration submenu. Select 2 to modify configuration information. Select the startup storage medium. In this example, we select the default storage medium. Specify the system software for next startup. Specify the configuration file for next startup. Use the default configuration file here. Specify the patch file for next startup. Return to the boot ROM main menu. Select 8 Reboot to restart the switch and complete the upgrade. After the switch restarts, check whether the upgrade is successful. Check the current system software version and patch number. Check the switch's running status. The command output shows that the switch is in normal state, indicating that the switch runs properly. Check whether the configuration is lost. You can use the configuration comparison tool to compare the saved configuration file with the current configuration file. I will not demonstrate this operation. Okay, that's all about how to upgrade a switch using the command line interface and boot ROM menu. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. How can we find these threads? We can enter, quote, All About Switches, unquote, site, colon, Huawei.com. In the search field of Google, click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the home page. The All About Switches threads describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing. Thank you.